a treat. It is, it's cool. I mean, I just oh, love yeah. it. It's Carlos. I remember when he was talking about the development of this and he was like, this was the heyday, man. This was, everything was about taking something into go and you wanted to fit everything in this little piece. And I'm like, how perfect for travel now. Oh, so perfect. Absolutely. Absolutely perfect. This would be the greatest gift for anybody who loves music. Um, I was glad, yeah. you know, my son's apartment, he has the Woodstock, you know, oh, yeah. frame. The, I mean, so many people, you know, it's funny. It doesn't matter if you, if your son or daughter is a teenager, if you have 20-somethings, 30-something, 40, and, and beyond, all generations yeah. love and can relate in one way or another to Woodstock. It's Which incredible. Which is what Fauci, that's what my dad always wanted, was like, he loved the idea of selling to, like, the grandmother, the mom, and now the kid. He did. Yeah, it was it's a so big your thing dad. Totally, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it is really interesting when you say that. It was just how he, he was ageless. He, well, he, we always said he was, was the youngest guy in the room. quality about him. Yeah, that was, that was very much a part of his personality. He, yeah, he was the youngest guy in the room, no matter what. And, <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Yeah, but oh, that's why goodness. I think his, his work always had a sense of playfulness. And I think you can see that, just the fringe tassel pull. It was yeah. like just the little details. It makes such a big difference. Oh, it really does. Yeah. This, is, this is perfect. You can carry it as a little, I would carry it for a little bag, if just when I'm casual in my jeans oh, running yeah. around. But I also would put this inside my purse. I was going to say bag within a bag. Absolutely. Yes. You know, you put all your, your major items, your cell phone, your keys, your sunglasses, and you put it in the larger purse. But we say it's the mommy trick, you know? Like they oh. go in, they have the mom bag, and then they have the purse within the purse, and they take that to go in the grocery store. The mommy <laughs> trick. Okay, mommies out there and grandmoms. But you're right, because yeah. you don't want to schlep the whole big, no. huge thing in with you. This will hold your phone and your wallet and what you need Absolutely. to get in and out in a jiffy. You can throw it on your wrist. So it can be hands-free if you need it to be. It still looks really cool. You get the tassel, you get the musical clef, and of course, this is the actual Woodstock ticket. Believe it or not, that ticket back then cost eighteen dollars for three days. This, these days, they, they say that ticket would be like a hundred and eighty dollars. You know, for 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 the three day I festival. I know. Now it's three fifty. Exactly. <laughs> How are you doing uh, over there? I'm obsessed with this bag. I know, it's, I I'm know. obsessed with this bag. I mean, when we, your dad and I were talking about this, and I mean, the last show we did together, it was so amazing that we were able to collaborate on this last project with him. Oh, he him was and, so excited. Absolutely. And what's also interesting about this ticket, and we talked about this before, so 186,000 tickets were sold. A half a million people attended Woodstock. Right. Only 186,000 bought tickets. Really, ticket collectors. Yeah. And a million people actually had to turn and go back. Right. Uh, my father actually was one of the people who ditched his car and then walked the festival. He did not. Yes, he did. <laughs> so it was like 20 miles. Oh, no, no, no. Um, it was. Like bumper to bumper. Well, have you seen his yeah. pictures back then? He was this big. <laughs> <laughs> That's so and, funny. And Carlos was amazing because this is true to who he really was. I mean, he was yeah. creating, like Diane said. I mean, it was none of this. You know, he created bags for Jimi Hendrix. He lived in the West wow. Village. This yep. was who Carlos was. So we are just so lucky.